there is no planet B. We are all completely reliant on the environment we live in for basic life but also for quality of life. It's our duty and our responsibility to safeguard our environment through careful resource management but also by developing scientific solutions to maximize those resources. I'm Professor Maraikala Vaskogni. I'm a professor in plant breeding and this, uh, we have the Tsachi chair in disease resistance and quality of field crops. Myself and my family love hiking, so we love going on hiking tours and, and seeing nature and experiencing that. We live on a small holding where we also have a vegetable garden, so we love being outdoors and seeing plants and nature. In protecting the environment, we have incredible tools at our disposal. Scientists are at the forefront of fighting climate change and resource depletion through innovative solutions. Plant breeding is manipulation of plants, uh, but it's all for the, for the good of humans, but also for the good of the environment. Uh, for example, we are breeding by conventional breeding for resistance, for example, to, to insects and the resistance to diseases. What is the alternative is to spray a lot of organophosphates which goes into the soil and which goes into the soil water and that's very unhealthy for the environment. So, so we can prevent this by improving the crops and making them naturally resistant or tolerant to all kinds of pests and diseases. So we are doing a lot of work on biofortification, that is the genetic improvement of nutritional value of crops. So we are improving the zinc content, the iron content, some uh, essential amino acids and also things like pro-vitamin A. And at, at the same time we are looking at it in the context of global warming. So while we are doing the nutritional improvement, we are also looking at drought tolerance and heat tolerance of these uh, cultivars that we are developing as well. Continuous innovations in plant breeding contribute to sustainability by creating cultivars that require fewer resources like water and chemicals to produce enough food to feed the nation. These innovative solutions will ensure that future generations can enjoy food security while at the same time protecting the environment. I've been at the university for some decades now and the technology has changed hugely. All over Africa you have conventional breeding programs now, but you also have the new technology like gene editing and things coming in all over Africa. We need to produce more food, we need to produce more safe food, nutritious food, food that can grow in very adverse conditions which we are seeing happening all around us with climate changes. And if we can change those genetically, I, I think that is what we are all striving for. Because we all care about the environment, our collective goal is to produce safe, affordable, nutritious food in a responsible, sustainable manner that preserves resources and protects the environment. For more information, visit croplife.co.za. CropLife supporting responsible food production for a better future.